everyone this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to edit this type of photographs that means suppose you have got the picture on a sea beach and before the sunset and you want to edit this one properly and uh, special thanks to Rifat bhai for these photographs and uh, he has given me this photo for editing and make the tutorials so let's see the output here I made this one like that so this one is the perfect thing so what I have done here uh, let's see here was the some spots and other stuff like a uh, human uh, behind the photo or model and I removed that things and I have done the color correction skin retouch and light and everything and I made it like awesome so how to do that if you want to get this technique you have to subscribe my channel and you have to watch this video till the end start the tutorial before that I will analyze the full things at first I have done the skin retouch if I turn off the layers suppose this one and this one okay at first I have done the skin retouch and I copied this one and like that skin retouch and then I added a preset like that and I made it this preset for you guys and I'll give you that preset download link in my video description and then the special effects and gradient as well and the color so here is the color code and I'll give you that color code to you and final output I'll get this one so let's see how to do that i'll go to the file at first and open up here is non editor image and i'll open it up so it will open up in new window here at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl g after that uh, here is some spot that means a human so go to the spot healing brush tool and select the content ever this one and make it normal and pixel or the brush size is 100 pixel and just drag over here it will gone and here as well slightly you should remove this one so here here and here as well so you are getting the spot free image and then i'll add the skin retouch plugins here or effects so go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer this one is the plugins for you guys and if you want to get the full video tutorial of about skin finer i have another detailed video about that you to go to that video tutorial and i'll give you that video tutorial link in my video description so here is two or three panels and here is skin detailing and skin tone uh, here if i make it zoom okay i'm just zoom this one in and here is skin masking so skin masking that is the auto and here is okay amount of sharpening like that and fine like that that's fine and i'll desaturate the skin tone and find out the skin proper skin tone yes this one is good and increase the brightness and contrast as well shadow i'll make the shadow like that and the highlight as well so you're getting the changes the before one and after one so skin tone is same but i made it smooth and beautifications like that so hit the ok button if you want to get the download link of the skin finder please check out my video description i'll give you that video link in my video description so it's loading up and here if i zoom it in before one actually this one before one and after one smooth skin and the proper color tone of the skin after that you have to make it mask and make it inverse mask by pressing ctrl i or command i so why i have done this just because of i want to unchange this one the ambient light or other stuffs i want to change only the skin that's why so select this mask and make it white and before that you have to reset this one by pressing here and you will get like that but i will make it white by pressing the double arrow key and then i'll go to the brush tool and make the brush size 
approx 200 pixel and hardness 0% if you need you can change the flow and opacity like that and just brush over here in a face not other area of the image in a face only so you are getting the masking options that means the skin tone is changing only not the other ambient light so the light is beautiful so i want to keep unchanged of the light so here i'll only brush my skin so skin portion in a hand and the leg and face as well so don't brush anywhere only in a face and skin only so in a leg so you are getting the change of this so that's nice that means i'm getting the change of the face only not the ambient light just because of i need the ambient light for thing so i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j this one and i'll make it group and i'll make it merge after merging this i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and j so i'll add the shadow and highlighting for the shiny look so this one is the highlight layer that's why i just given this one h and this one is the shadow layer rename this one for the s select the highlight layer go to the blending mode and make it a screen and right press and blending options from here you will get the underlining layer over here and here is the slider find out the highlighted area on a face only so that's good and press the alter button and hold it and select here the slider will divide and adjust the light to the face so it will be more amazing okay and hit okay and then mask it and go to the image apply image and hit okay so change this one that means turn on the eyes the layer and go to the blending mode and make it multiply so mask this one image and apply image so make it invert and hit okay so before that you have to change the blending mode multiply and you will get the layer which is like uh, blending options and underlining layer from here you can change here the shadow right press and adjust the light and shadow that's good and hit okay so select these two things make it group and make it mask after masking this image again apply image and uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you are getting the subtle change so light is prominent here that's why i have done this one that means the dodge and burn option dodge and burn burn for the highlight dodge for the shadow so i'll select these two things and make it group merge okay after that i'll adjust the preset or add the preset so how to do that go to the filter and camera filter you know camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version if you want to get the cs version of these plugins you have to install it manually i'll give you the thing or the download link of the camera filter manual setup so here is a small menu and load settings options you are getting here the beach girl and hit the open button you will get the changes or the color correction over here and hit okay you're getting the ultimate change over here so it will take time to load it up yeah that's fine and then again go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop bunch of uh, effects of the bundle that means uh, you are getting these plugins for the bundle of effects if you want to get the download link please check out my video description i'll give you that download link in my video description always i do tell you to check out my video description for the detailing or other sources or resources file download so after that i'm using the cross processing and here are lots of presets or methods i'll use the l02 okay and hit okay so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so it's almost done and yeah that's fine yeah it's done and now i will add the gradient so go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient tool and select the last one and make it radial and make the angle zero degree and the scale 350 
let's find make it reverse and ether as well so i'll drag this gradient or light area in a face yeah that's fine and hit okay so now i'll add another photo filter so i'll take the color from here here's the color code i'll copy that 807c71 so i'll give you that color code in my video description so you can add that color in your photography so how to do that go to the adjustment layer and solid color and i'll paste that code in this panel and hit ok and change the blending mode into soft light so you are getting the full effects of this photo so nice effects that is the warm look just because of the light of the end the end that is the soft light and the warm type so you're getting proper editing of the photo the before one non-edited image and after one you're getting like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and uh, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and if you need the download link of the plugins and the preset please check out my video description if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye